Hi there, Crystal here with Crystal Heist Portrait Artist. I am getting ready to work on a practice painting of a beautiful Maine Coon cat. And I wanted to bring you along for the ride so you can see a little bit behind the scenes of what my process looks like, what I'm thinking about as I'm painting, and just how things work. Uh, you may or may not see my dog Freya in and out of frame. Um, <laughs> she was under the desk, but of course, as soon as I started recording, she booked it on out of here. But. Anyway, I hope you enjoy, and let's get started. Okay, so this is the cat that I have selected, and what I'm going to do is select this beautiful little creature and bring it over into a colored background where I can start some painting. Okay, that looks pretty good. What I'm going to do here is pretty much do what I call a head and shoulders piece where we're going to pretend like that little side didn't exist in the photo and just bring in kind of a bust of this cat. Okay, now there was a ton of green in the background so I'm going to Get rid of a little bit of that. I'll be able to bring back a lot of this fluff um, as I go along with my special brushes. Now, whiskers are usually not something that is painted in directly. So I will likely paint those out initially and then bring them back in with a tiny brush at the end. Okay. That looks pretty good for now. So a big reason for doing this practice painting is because I believe that continuing education is very important, no matter how skilled you are. And I want to make sure that I am always learning new things, trying new things, so that when it comes to my client paintings, I have all of my skills where they need to be so that I can create something incredible. I started out as a photographer and one of the things that my mentor has really tried to drill into my head is that you have to be willing to let go of some of the detail when you're painting because if you don't and you try to stay way way too close to what was in the original photograph why paint it at all? Why not just keep it a photograph? And that's something that I have worked really hard to keep in my brain as I continue learning and growing and working just in general. Now this video is not for teaching purposes, more just to, again, give you a look behind the scenes of how I work and how this whole painting process works here at Crystal Heist Portrait Artist. And this is very, very similar to the steps that I take for all of my commission clients. Now, of course, everyone has their own individual pets 
And so no painting, no two paintings are alike or the same in that way. I'm not currently doing any generic paintings, so to speak. Everything is custom and commissioned by an individual. My plan for today, if I haven't said this already, is to work for about 20 minutes and then stop there. Part of the reason for that is I want to make sure when I'm working on my paintings, I don't um, work until the point of feeling burnt out or bored or anything like that. I really want to stay um, as fresh as possible so that I know that I'm doing my best work. So we're not going to sit here for hours and continue working on this. Um, just 20 minutes this time. first started learning how to paint like this, I had a really hard time letting go of being able to see individual hairs. And I'm just now getting to the point where I really, really love the way it looks when there is that homage to it instead of being really specific. everybody has you know different style different taste but I love that I am able to appreciate this significantly more than when I got stuck in that photography brain
for you. You tell me my 20 minutes is up. I think you're right. Okay, just a couple more brush strokes on the lower part of the mouth here. Okay. I think we'll leave it there for now. Of course, I say that and then can't help but move the brush just a little bit more. Okay. So, if we were to turn off this paint layer, that's the original image, turn it back on, that is the painting that I have worked on today. All right, so that's been 20 minutes. Thank you so much for joining me on this practice paint of this Maine Coon cat um, from Unsplash. And I look forward to doing this again soon. Thanks so much.